Hi, this is Jason Whiterow, and today I'm going to give you a very quick, brief tutorial on using CakePHP's 1.3 auth function. Again, that's for this is um, I'm working with CakePHP 1.3. This is the latest stable release, and um, basically I'm just going to go over some of the very basics of the auth function and actually show you a working example. All right, so the file that I'm in right now is the app controller file. Um, and what I'm defining right here on line 39 is I'm ensuring that the off component is called here and the session component. I use both of these interchangeably and uh, basically what this does is it ensures that all controllers um, can use the methods from these when they're declared in this, um, this app controller. Now what I've got down here is a before filter and basically, um, you can see I have a login action and a log, login redirect action, and then an allow display. And basically, basically this is saying if the administrator, if it's not an administrator uh, of the site, then redirect them to the admin directory, which is here. And I set up a route in the routes file, which actually just simply, um, you know, basically it's like my domain domain name slash admin takes takes me to my login interface. So. Basically, any site, um, any site page that's visited, the user will be automatically redirected to the login page. Now, this auth allow allows my standard display page, which I also have defined in my route, which is my home page. So that page will not be redirected when a user goes to visit the site. Um, now, you're probably wondering, why would you want to block everybody out of the site? Well, you'll see in, a, um, in my next step here why I did it this way. Because um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to prevent all access to all pages except the home page and then I'm going to allow specific pages based on each controller that I, I'm allowing people, uh, general people to have access to. Um, and then down here very briefly um, is just uh, some code that I use for, um, for, for storing session information and uh, related to the user who's logged in. So basically, um, I can show a logout button when the user is logged in, and when they're not logged in, I can show a login button. So it's just a little bit of a user-friendly feature, which I'll show you in a minute how that works. All right, so now I'm going to jump over to my user's controller, because this is actually where, um, and, and if you're familiar with CakePHP at all, you know um, that the user's table and uh, with auth and users is all basically automatically works together so that a uh, minimal amount of coding has to take place in order to make this function. And as you can see here, I baked my entire um, user's uh, uh, controller, and um, I've also allowed admin routing. Admin, I've created admin views as well, uh, which you can see, for example, admin index, admin view, and these are all admin accessible pages for the users, so I can create new users and things like that. But anyway, the important thing to note here is the function login and the function admin logout. And basically, although you can add a lot of additional script in this function login, this is all that's really required to get it to work with CakePHP 1.3. And um, this function admin logout basically just destroys the session and redirects the auth logout uh, function so that basically the user is logged out and the session is destroyed and um, they'll have to enter their username and password in. Uh, password again to get back into the site. Um, so that's all I've added to this file in addition to the standard bake which you see below. And um, just so you know, I'm going to be creating some additional tutorials on actually baking the scripts um, to give you some much more insight into the very simple ways you can bake your scripts and get, get yourself up and running. And then I'm also going to go over um, a lot of um, templating and things like that so it can make your life a lot easier when you get around to the design part of everything. Anyway, back to the point. I'm going to jump over to the products controller. Now, the products, I'm using the products controller in this example because the products page is an area that um, the user, the general website users, are allowed to visit this page and they do not have to be logged in. But as an administrator, I want to be able to log in and add, edit, delete, and use my standard CRUD features, which basically means create, read, update, and delete on any of these specific files. So basically, what I'm going to do here. Um, is uh, what I'm doing here basically is I'm calling this before filter again and if you remember in my app controller I called this before filter here and basically what I'm doing in the products controller with this parent element is I'm calling this auth allow index which means the index and view are going to be accessible to anybody so basically I'm overwriting that 
uh, original app controller um, to restrict everybody, and I'm overriding it and saying, allow index and view pages for regular site visitors. Now let's look at a quick example of that on the uh, actual site itself. So I'm going to click on gallery. The gallery is connected. This is my products index page. Um, you can't see the URL in this tutorial. I apologize for that. I'll have to make it a little bit higher next time. But anyway, this is my uh, just products page right here. And if I click on more details, this is my view page. Yes, it's not formatted or designed at all. Um, so, but basically, just so you can see that the category, uh, the description, the title are all pulled in, and I'm able to view that with no problem. Now, let's go back and let's go ahead and um, just comment this out and see what happens. Oh, now I'm just going to look at my view again. I'm going to refresh the page. Oh, see? Basically what I was saying in the original app controller, I've set this up so that if any of these controllers are trying to, are trying to access, they're going to be routed directly to the login page. So that's going to be a problem. Um, all right, so let's go back. And all I'm doing here, again, is this before filter. All of the this below is already baked, and I did bake with admin views, um, admin information. You can see admin views, admin index. So all of this was already baked, minimizing my amount of coding time, making my life a lot easier as a programmer. All right, so I'm going to jump into uh, um, my default file really fast and just quickly go over. Uh, this is my de default template file. And remember I was telling you about in the app controller about how I had this script set up down below here? Well, right now, basically what I'm saying here is if the user's logged in, show the log out link. Um, and if the user's uh, logged out, show the log in link. And, um, and that's basically what I've got going here. Again, this is not the way that I have all my coding out here. I've been um, just doing some experimenting with all this, so this is not um, the best practices by any means that I'm, I'm recommending here. But it's more or less um, to get you an idea of, you know, if you're running into some trouble getting this working, this is a simple way that you can get up and running with one user type. Um, again, this doesn't cover ACL with roles and um, user different user privilege sets and things like that. It's just a very straightforward administrative console uh, for a site admin. All right, so basically, yeah, again, as you can see really quick, I've got I've some if statements here. Um, if the user is not logged in, show the login. Um, and again, notice the exclamation point basically saying not. Um, you can see here, same thing. If the user variable is not empty, show the admin home link. If the uh, user variable is not empty, show the logout link. Um, now, let me just quickly jump over to the uh, user side. Let's log in really fast. I've already got my username and password in there. And as you can see, uh, I'm taken directly uh, to the page that I was on before. Um, and let me make sure that I, oh, I blocked, I gotta allow this again. So I'm gonna allow my standard index and views. Uh, but as you know, up here, we've got logout and admin home showing up, as I was just showing you. Um, and uh, if I click my admin home, I can go to my manage products, log out. Now, now I'm gonna try to, um, Go to the gallery again. That shows up because um, I allowed it right here. And you know, log in again really fast. And then manage events. You know, for example, new event. Again, the formatting in my design is not um, done. Again, this is just an example for functional purposes only. Um, nothing more than that. So anyway, and you'll see my session meshes is being displayed up here as well. I'm about to run out of time uh, because there's a, a limit on this. Uh, video size and so I'm going to end off here but hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight um, on using um, Cake PHP Auth um, in version 1.3. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to post any questions as well um, or any other data or any other tutorials you might like to see uh, on this subject.